Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Greenside Up. Lots of bits and bobs to get done today. It's one of those jobs where I need to be everywhere, so just crack on and uh, see what we can get done. <laughs> Weeds grow on good days in the winter. They're experts at what they do. So again, it's just, <coughs> excuse me, it's just another quick tickle over with the claw, just to disturb them. I mean, it's a, it's a five minute job, so, especially with this thing, it's, uh, <coughs> it's a brilliant tool. What a tool. <laughs> so, I mean, you could do it with a rake if you haven't got a claw, or a hoe just so efficient this claw any stubborn weeds I'll just come back with a trowel and take them out just to give me a clean start to the season there we go Now, all my plants in the little tunnel here are all coming on really, really well. This double protection of the hoops and plastic over them really works wonders. I mean, we had a frost last night and, uh, you know, all these lettuces, they're thriving. In fact, a bit early for those yet, but I'm going to plant these now. Now, it's a little early for planting out outside, but here in the Pollock Tunnel, I don't need this ground just yet. The final planting, so I can get some lettuces in here. So just a couple of holes, a bit of good fish and bone, bone. put the plant in, green side up. <laughs> And we'll get a crop off these fairly soon, I should imagine. Now, this one that I'm planting now is called Grosser Blonde. And it's one, I've never grown it before. So we shall see what that's like. And this one is my favourite, or well, one of them anyway. And this is Red Grenoble. So again, just a hole, blood fish and bone. Put it in the ground, green side up. And well, I've been using the um, Doing this exactly the same as Charles Dowding does. And uh, just picking the outer leaves. And it's absolutely fantastic way of growing lettuce. Rather than just getting the one head, you just get stacks and stacks of leaves. I'm not going to plant the whole bed up with lettuce, but I've cut a couple of other varieties that I can put in. I'll go and grab them, and then we'll carry on. And so we've got two more varieties here of lettuce. This one is called Sadawi. S-A-D-A-W-I and this next one 
is Lettuce Navara. And the last two lettuces that I'm adding here I've got one here which is Rouge de Eva and it's very similar and again I haven't grown this one very similar apparently to the Red Grenoble so keen to try this one And put them in green side up again <laughs> and this last one at the back here is freckles again a very nice lettuce and one of my favorites I don't know if you can see the freckles on the leaves anyway I'll just give them a water and they'll be away. Right, so just in front of these lettuces and along this edge here, I'm going to sow some radish. Now by the time this radish is up at a reasonable size where it might get in the way, it's not going to be because those lettuce will, have, will be over and gone and I'll be eating the lettuce from outside. So. As this is right next to the path edge, when this grows up, most of those lettuces will be gone and anything I plant in that bed won't be affected by this radish because the sun is coming from that direction. So it's, it's what they call a catch crop, I think. And I'll sow this all along this edge where these, radish, uh, where these lettuces are. Um, and it's just another crop of them, so. This is a uh, radish French breakfast too. And just to finish off, I could probably pick them and grow them from this tub, but I've got them, so I'm going to plant them. And this is peas, and this was in a peat-free compost. So I grew them in a peat-free compost as a trial trying what I can this year to change habit really um, yeah so they'll go along with the radish and the lettuce a bit of salad stuff and I say this will all be out apart from maybe the radish which is all the way down this edge now this will all be out when I need this bed for some warm weather crops later in the season
So I got up this morning and there was a, a visible frost in, in my back garden and when I come down here today. So if you've got tender plants anywhere, they might need some protection. Just watch out for that this weekend. Um, I think cold weather countrywide is forecast over this next sort of week. So just be aware of that um, with your tender plants. But that's it for here today. Um, I've got lots and lots of little things done. I've only filmed a little bit of it just purely because the rest of it is just boring stuff, moving stuff around, and you don't want to see that. So we'll call it quits there, and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care, look after yourselves. Bye-bye now. <laughs>